How are you? Uh, Friday. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we're there. We made it. I survived. Um, we're good, Nick. We're really, really good, Nick. Um, we've got everything ready down in the auction room. Uh, Sinead, if you just swing the camera around, you'll see the racks are all in order. That We have them in numerical order. And uh, Niall has been just flat out like a lizard on a bypass. No, a badger uh, on a bypass. Badger on a bypass. Poor badgers. Um, and Sinead has given her a hand, but we have everything in numerical order and we're ready to rock and roll. Today we go live. Bye. Bible class. Love it back. So we are talking about our charity items and a few oddities as well that I just thought needed a bit of a, a high profile or not a high profile. Just a wee bit of a yap a bit. A wee bit of a yap a bit on my rants. Um, Don't mind. For Cullen, I'm not. I'll try not to. There's no guarantees, Katie. Uh, for Cullen, I thought we should talk about that because, again, that was in... Uh, that was... The talking point after the last auction. I yeah. mean, amongst uh, the two silent distilleries, uh, that bottle stood out because uh, not that bottle, but a bottle of Fair Cullen sold uh, sold for two thousand euro. Uh, it was a limited edition release that was done at a market with Marika in Germany, Germany by Noel himself. Yes. Um, there was only a few bottles, and it sold for two thousand euros. Hmm. We had guided it, I think, about four to six. We were knew that it would be an in demand. It yeah. was a special bottle, but two thousand euros was. Kapow. Well, somebody just wanted it. It was, and that's what we talk about. I mean, we get into phone go, why did somebody pay that? Or, you know, so much. It is literally just that's somebody wanted answer. it. It is literally somebody, somebody wanted, wanted it. it. And and who are we to question why yep. or the way of it all? As long as they pay us and we pay the sellers, more power to your elbow. Um, the two sellers, the two bidders, sorry, the two bidders for that. I know we're on social media. The underbidder sort of reached out and said, you know, whoever beat me. Fair dues, and then the guy who won it came on and said, "Look, I bought it for a reason." And I, I do believe that the two guys have been since been talking and uh, explode. They were talking about why it was important to I-W-A. meet. bringing friends together. Bringing friends <laughs> together. Look what we do. <laughs> um, this is the new Paddy share. I have been warned that I'm Don't not allowed to it. call it. What am I not allowed to call it, Katie? I'm not, I'm not saying it. What is it? It is. You said Paddy to me that share. "Don't call it Black Paddy." Isn't that what you told me? You said, don't call it that on the video. I won't. I promise, Pat. Okay. You're very good. I'm very good. I do what I told all the time. That is the new uh, Paddy share. It's a uh, 47%. It's a higher ABV. I'm not quite sure what the share story is. It's probably just, it's higher ABV. More people drink it. yippee yay yeah. There's always a story. Yep. Um, Powers. I, I picked the Powers because, again, sitting beside these two, uh, Powers, this bottle in particular, I don't think gets the kudos or the respect it deserves. And that's a fab looking bottle. And that is a really, really good, Nick. It is a uh, Powers pot still. It's a 30-year-old. It's one of the only 30-year-old. aged paddies. Power. Powers. Powers. Powers knocking around. Knocking around. You were looking at the no, no, I'm not I'm saying not one of the only aged, but I mean that age, yeah. 30-year-old. I mean proper. Old. Old. Uh, this was from the old John's Lane Distillery. Um, especially reserved for Daniel, Donald E. Panos. Mr. Panos was an American businessman who done business in, in Dublin and f- fond of his whiskey and got this and had it bottled and was gifting it to an awful lot of people at the time as well. But uh, why wouldn't you buy it? I mean, that's what, you know, it has to be the, the question. I mean, it, it it is the type of thing that you know, people go mad over the modern Middletons or Redbreast or whatever else. But that is a piece of our distilling history. Mm-hmm. It's a rare opportunity to own a Powers with an age statement that old on the front of it. And it's in good nick. I mean, it's something to just shout from the rooftops a bit. Um, so, I, I yeah, lads. look. If you're looking for serious, collectible Irish whiskey, something like that, that's the job. Uh, talking about that's the job <laughs> this is uh, we have a few of these in the, not this one we have a couple of them the Barrel Club uh, Middleton Dave. so the Barrel Club is a a club. <sighs> a club yes supposedly limited to 500 people <clears throat> but they keep advertising it so I don't know whether it they haven't got the 500 Maybe yet they haven't got the 500 because or they're just sort of it's 500 a year to the accountants in Middleton went lads we need a few more of them sold <laughs> we didn't get the 500 yet 
So anyhow, this is one of the rarer ones. This is uh, this is the one that probably makes the, the Barrel Club worthwhile. This is John's Lane Cask Strength. What a whiskey. Yes. I think it is only, it should be just, instead of wow, it's wah. Wah. What a whiskey. W-A-W. Okay. It is phenomenal. I mean, John's Lane on its own is it's probably gorgeous. one of the best priced quality whiskey just out there. I mean, yeah, I know no, loads of guys lovely. who just love to sit, have a pint and a John's Lane and it is just phenomenal. I've done it a few times myself. It's just, it makes it all. Oh, no, the, the, the spicy pot still against the, 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 the pint of gets out. Well, I don't do the stout part. Blech. Blech. <laughs> it's the only thing. Right, okay. This has done a cask strength. Uh, 50, what did you say? 50. I can't see it. I'm just going to eyes. 56.1. 56.1. That is a proper cask strength whiskey. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's phenomenal. And they also include in it the deconstructed kit with the instruction manual on how to deconstruct it, the makeups, the p- component parts of John's Lane. I think it's a great, great thing. Uh, anybody who. Got them. Uh, I think you should be drinking them. I think you should be sharing them around, getting as many people drinking this whiskey as possible because it is fantastic. It's gorgeous. Uh, I don't know about the collectability, the long-term collectability of it, of the whole Barrel Club stuff. No, but, but sure, I think the Barrel Club... Are we going to fight with this kid? I'll I just put it up there for a minute and we'll do that. Minute. Minute. Oh, exactly. you, you haven't got any patience for that. I, I have. I'm you don't. Mr. Carmen Reasonable. Uh-huh. On the Powers thing, we have Patrick and the team over in O'Connell's Bar in Galway gave us bottle number one of their single cask release. Again, very generous of them to, to give us bottle number one for the, the, the charity. Yeah. Uh, that is going for Samaritans. It is. That is going for Samaritans. And he gave us a hell of a prize bundle. He really, really did. And he, he, he I know Patrick himself has done a lot of work for S- Samaritans and he's part of the team over there uh, helping run and make <coughs> uh, Samaritans <coughs> a, a good charity. But not that it needs it, but they need every bit of support. Oh, God, yeah. So as part of the kit, as I say, bottle number one, he gave us the flight board. Uh, it's for holding bottles. It's for holding bottles. But I just put the glasses, glasses on it because uh, there's a set of six, six of, of the Powers glasses, glasses as well. That's the uh, official branded ones, the ones with the real heavy base in them. So they're a lovely, they're a lovely weighted glass as well. So uh, it's nice to have them as well. Uh, he did give us a pair of Stockini, as you call them. I branded. Called them Stockini. What did you Stucky. call them? Ah, them as well, yeah. Uh, I'm not very fluent in Irish. And he gave us t-shirts. He gave us a medium t-shirt. Where did bleeding Jesus with a medium t-shirt go to wrap around this? You put it on your arm. I'm doing well, Pat. Where is a bandana? Like, where is a bandana? That'd be about it. <laughs> yeah, it's not going on this fine specimen of a man. Nope, it's not. Carry on. No, baby, come on. All right, sorry. Uh, and O'Connell's, he gave us a print of a piece of art that he had commissioned uh, back in 2017 um, of the front of the bar. I mean, uh, I don't know any of you that know it. O'Connell's is a, just an iconic bar on Air Square in Galway. It is fantastic both in and out. It's a real, real well-run bar. I mean, to go into the front bar and just the wall of alcohol that mm-hmm. is there between bottles of whiskey and gin. I mean, they've got l- massive selection of whiskey. Uh, and then the outdoor bits and the wee snuggy bits were in the back. It was Even the, old the scullery. interior roof of the old bar is cool. It's phenomenal. I the whole it. place is fantastic. We really do love it. Uh, and um, he gave us one of these prints. I mean, they're limited edition. That was pre-COVID, obviously. Yeah. They have done work on uh, on the place over COVID when they were locked up. And... Uh, but that's one of the, the prints. So that's a hell of a set that he's given us. And that's raising funds for uh, Smartens. Maylog, Stephen over in Maylog has donated those to uh, the National Council for the Blind. Uh, somebody took on a bit of a fundraiser for NCBI and uh, got a few bottles donated to them. And that's where that money's going. Uh, Maylog, we love Maylog. Stephen, just because he's local, not because he's local. But because what he does is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, the wee bottles are fantastic. Lovely little cut glass. Uh, unique stoppers, I think, is the best way to describe them. There is a story behind the bolt itself and the ram's horns and that. But that 10-year-old's diamond is a cracking whiskey. You really like oh, that. Oh, I really, you like, really, it, yeah, really yeah. like that. And exactly. price point, it's 
40, 45 quid or something like that for, yeah, yeah, for, for retail like it is really well. really good now we want you to bid more than that for the charities because it's all going for the National Council for the Blind Ireland yes. this is from uh, James and Moira up in Sleeve League in Donegal uh, from the new Ardra Ardra or Ardara or whatever way you pronounce it distillery um, they're a lovely couple James and Moira we do like James and Moira they, they are fantastic and they know their yeah. Oh, did about uh, distillates I mean uh, Moira's on Dullamon gin is a fantastic yes. gin uh, but uh, they also have a passion for it I mean it's 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 great when something like that works and, yeah. and, and both people um, are, are really into it a uh, bit like us baby yeah yeah let's call it that um, I don't know if the camera picks it up but the subtle differences in colours between these two uh, that's the single malt 78% uh, and signed by James on the 31st of the 3rd 22 and this is pot still and the reason why there's a slight discoloration in the pot still it's a vatting and for the little bit of time that it spent in the vatting it took so much colour yeah. uh, it's really unbelievable uh, but again 78% that is is uh, I've got samples of that up there and I'm also going to do a wee video on it as well they know what they're at I yeah. mean the, the the quality of the distillate is fantastic but I mean everybody loves we've plenty of the, the, silky. the silky in this month's auction we've got the normal silky the dark silky there's the a few red, red silkies, silkies there yeah. as well which are really rare to come up with as well so that's another one so our dry distillery and like I don't I personally am not a PT kind of person no but I've tasted their there were oh it's fab yeah and the even, dark silk is even really though it has the piece in yeah. it it's not it's, it's just it's th- they know how to do it he's yeah. got he's got a great palate uh, I think and again I know from us talking to them they've sort of Myra would like one and James would like another one to be better well what do you think and sort of they'd be a bit I think of, they've done that up in Belfast <laughs> didn't they <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> they had us tasting uh, and one was James's and one was Myra's that's Myra. for charity also and that is for we think it's for uh, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's dementia care yeah, yeah exactly Brings us to our final piece, uh, the Middleton Baby Pearl. I mean, come on. If, if Look, look, how cute it is against me. I mean, come on. It's as cute as a button. The bottle, not me. I'm cute anyhow. Uh, but, look. Now, we have sold one of these previously. Uh, it sold for €4,200. It is just a piece of history. I mean, the pearl itself, there was only 117 bottles of it made. I think there's even less of these. I would guess that there's even less of these. Of course there would Both be. Brian Nation and Barry Crockett on the top of it. The craftsmanship in even just the presentation is fantastic. And I mean, as I really pointed out, that wee sample would be even rarer than, than the, the pearl. pearl so I, I, would, I would surmise so, because yeah. they wouldn't have been lashing these out. I mean, the, the work that went into them, I mean, the... the just everything. Yeah. Uh, Fifty mil. It's got the same gold inlay that the actual uh, the actual pearl has got. It's solid wood again. It's just gorgeous. No, it it's a rare, beautiful. rare opportunity to have that. You can't afford a pearl. A mod pearl at the minute is about twenty k. That is just a fantastic piece to have. So I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, as I say, we go live at five. On the charity items, they're all in this month, but we do have a, a big charity auction coming up. The entire catalogue is May. May, the start of May, starting on the 2nd of May, going to the 6th. It's a Monday to Friday. Um, everything is for charity, is for Ukraine. Yes. Um, we have two different funds for that. There's 150 bottles of a uniquely labelled um, whiskey Nish. from Nick Ryan in Thomangate. And then Michael Cowman and Dahi are rounding up bottles and donations. And we're receiving bottles oh, we and are. donations from other people we as are. well. So to go into this auction. plenty in the auction. So everything, all proceeds will go to uh, uh, Ukraine and to try and help them out. And it's, we're, we're, we've got funds who are literally, it's not going to big, massive funds. No. They're going to people who, it's going direct. local people who yeah. make a difference on the ground and all that sort of stuff as well. So that's coming up. So if you want to put in bottles for that, you can reach out to us as well. Who's the more the merrier? That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're good to go, Katie, aren't we? Yay! Uh, five o'clock today. Um, no half days. We still have a wee bit of work to do. I know that's disappointing for you. But look, I, I have been touting for an hour. These are off Monday. 
And? Yes, I'll get them Saturday and Sunday off. Yes. That's it. But the postman's finishing at one. I don't care what the postman finish. Postman doesn't look at pretty bottles all day long. Actually, some of them might look at bottles too much, but yeah. can't say that about that. If I wear them down, I'll let you know. Uh, and that's it. We shall be... Probably talk, I'm going to do that wee video next week about the tasting. Yeah, yeah, and then and we'll, we'll, we'll have a quick chat before the charity. Ukraine yeah, yeah. charity auction as well. So. Cool. Should we should be talking to you. Thanks, guys. Adios. Talk to you soon. Bye.